In today's video, we are going to create this cute little envelope book, which could be used to pop gift cards inside or cash for a gift or just cute little notes. The finished size of the one I will be showing you in the video is three by three inches. And I started out with a piece of paper that is nine by 12 inches. Here's a mini version of the book. And here is a larger version of the book. And I'll show you some different measurements in the next step. This one, I decided to put some tags inside. No glue is required. The only tools you'll need are a ruler, a pencil, a bone folder, and a pair of scissors or a knife. I didn't glue my any of my flaps here, but you certainly could. You could secure them with glue stick or with double stick tape. And in this book here, I put a line of machine stitching on this seam here and this seam here. Well, there I use some machine stitching. That was partly structural and also partly decorative. Okay, let's get started with our book. I'm making my book with a nine by 12 piece of paper and the ratio or the size of the paper is important. It needs to be in a ratio of three to four. So let me show you what I mean. To make a tiny book, you would multiply those two numbers by two and that will give you six by eight. That's gonna make this teeny tiny little book like a little two by two book. It's pretty cute though. The size that I'm working with is a nine by 12. So I multiply my numbers by three. That's gonna give me a, four, a three inch square book. And then the next size up from that, you multiply it by four, which gives you a 12 by 16 book and so forth. Just keep going up and up in that ratio. I am going to make the book with a white piece of paper first so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm starting on the short edge and marking it into thirds. So I'm putting marks at three inches and six inches. I connect those lines with a ruler or those dots and score. I have two score marks at three inches and six inches. I'm gonna fold along those score lines, bone fold in both directions. Now I'm going to fold the paper in half, short edge to short edge, carefully lining up the edges. And again, I'm gonna bone fold on both sides. Now I'm folding it into quarters along the short edge. So you're going to wind up with 12 quadrants. So I'm marking them there for you. 12 squares. My cut lines are going to be where I just marked with a pencil. I'm folding my squares into the center to create triangles. They look like little houses. And then you need to bone fold these in one direction. You fold down the top two flaps first and then the bottom one second. And you fold it into a four panel accordion to create the little book. There are the envelopes where you can put your little notes or gift cards. I'm going to use a piece of double sided wrapping paper. It's got a bit of a crease in it from where it was on the roll, but that works out just fine. I'm marking my three inches and six inches. This is a nine by 12 piece of paper again. Scoring. Score at three inches. 
score at six inches. Carefully fold on my score lines in both directions. You don't have to have double-sided paper for this project. Folding it in half, short edge to short edge, and then into quarters on that short edge. Your bone fold is your friend in this project. I'm going to make my slits. Just checking I've got 12 with my slit from the centre to the edge, centre to the edge. I've got my little triangles. Try not to go over that score line. Excuse my head in the way. You can see I have little gaps between my triangles, that's perfectly fine. Place everything firmly. Hold down the top flaps. Fold up the lower flaps. And fold again into your four panel accordion. For this project, you want to use a fairly um, thin paper because once you get all those folds, it can get very bulky. I'm taking a piece of one millimeter elastic for a closure, choosing a cute button. I'm gonna thread my elastic through that button. Just through two of the four buttonholes. Wrap it fairly tightly around the book and tie a knot on the back. Trim the extra up. This is just one of many different closure ideas. And that's where I can slide in my gift cards. If you don't like the gift cards poking out, you can make your piece, your initial piece of paper larger. I've decided I would like the pattern on the outside, so I am flipping it around. Could you secure it with double stick tape or glue stick if you would like to, but I like to leave mine open. My little gift cards. Whoops, let's put that around the right way. It's a fun little gift card holder or envelope book. If you have any questions, pop them down below. Enjoy!